Hey, yeah, that's a big difference. Oh man, I missed it. They just struck from the same water bowl. Same resource. Mm -hmm. No growling. What the heck? You guys are doing great, man. I thought we would get rid of it. I didn't, I mean, I really didn't think I'd be this comfortable. I'm gonna get your testimony sooner or later. Yeah, it's 100%. Unbelievable. I mean, it's not unbelievable. No, it really, well, no, you made it believe. Yeah, you well, you sold me on it from the get-go. Yeah. It didn't happen. But I just, to, for me to be so calm, calm and I have, I, I feel That's like it's going to happen. Sometimes I go and grab the clicker just in case. Just in case, for sure. Like, I, you know, got to get them separated, but. Yeah. Dude. Good boys. Sit. Good, you see that? That's me and Charlie. He didn't want to sit, but he saw him sit and get paid. So now you get paid. Good boys. Yes. Excellent. Good brothers. Amazing. Mortal enemies turn brothers again. We're more like brothers turn mortal enemies turn brothers again. Yeah. <laughs> no, totally. And I think being out in the backyard. Yeah. I got brothers. Turn to mortal enemies. Now back to brothers. For probably a little bit over two months of training. And now I got these guys walking right next to each other with no muzzle. First walk with no muzzle. Let's go. And you got the big bro back here in the back. Yeah. Let's go, Gucci. All three dogs walking at one time. No, they're not the best walkers, but they're learning. And they're right, guys. Right, Let's go. Stop. Good stop. Everybody stop. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> Check this out. Good. Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Check this out. Three dogs. Walking perfectly. Yes. Hey, you can come around a little bit. Check this out. Oh, yes, on my pace. Good, Rip. Good. Stop. Good, stop. Sit. Good. Of course, with Gucci. Sit, Gucci. Good boys. Check this out. Mortal enemies turn to friends again. I'm going to say brothers. Brothers turn to mortal enemies, turn to friends again. Gucci doesn't like treats outside for some reason. So his treat is a break. Break. I just found out that all of these guys are neuters. <laughs> I've been working with these guys for about a month now, and they're all unneutered. Don't know how to walk. They didn't know how to walk on a leash. Pulling, 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 pulling. And now I got these guys. Man. Poodles are really smart dogs. But where that smart, the, that intelligence comes in, uh, break, pretty go. Where that intelligence go, comes in, brings stubbornness. So right now, I'm not gonna let this white dog, River, mark. Yes, because he's marking in the house. These are, again, three unneutered males. And he was the first one He's also a bit spazzy. So he thinks I need to show these boys I'm the boss, I'm always the boss, and you guys are never gonna be the boss. Well, we're teaching him that he doesn't have to do that. We are the boss, humans. And you don't mark everywhere because you don't have to anymore. If you gotta pee, go outside, you know? So right now, if he has to pee normally, I'll let him pee. But I've been stopping his actual marking. By the way, I'm so proud of these guys because again, like I said, they want to go off and do their own thing. <laughs> and they're sticking with me. Let's go. Check this out. Look at that. Look at that. Leave it. Leave it. Good. 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 Check this out. Stop. Woohoo! Good boys. Let's go. Stop. Woohoo! And obviously he's sitting. Good sit. Good sit. I'll even pay him and not the brothers to 
is mirror training. Good, sit. He'll see that. But all, all I have to do is tell him to sit. He's going to sit because he's going to sit treat too. He doesn't do treats. Can you sit? Sit, Gucci. Sit. Good boy, Gucci. So he can stay in love. Good, sit, everybody. Good job. Let's go. And again, they after I said break or let's go, they would just run. So I am so proud of these guys. This is River, the white poodle. Black poodle is Rip and Raguchi. And we got two four-year-old males, Raguchi and River, and the two-year-old black male is uh, uh, unneutered, bigger than, he's bigger than his big brother. But uh, he's two, so it's kind of hard for their dynamic. And now he's like, I'm bigger than you now. I'm the boss. <laughs> uh, before this, they was they were fighting, and the last fight was around Christmas time, and uh, he had he gave him 12 puncture wounds, 12, and he opened his eye up, and it was bad. And ever since then, we've been working on relationship building. We've been working on confidence building, but also we've been working on obedience and manners. Gucci, hold on. Hold on. Boy. Boy, Gucci. Boy. Good. Yes. Stop. Good. Stop. So yeah, guys. This, these, this is me with the doodles today, with the poodles. You guys get out there and train your dogs. Any questions? Please let me know in the comment section or DM me. But yeah, I'm so proud of these guys. This is amazing. Good boys. Get out there and train your dogs. Come on. Another cool thing that I want to say is that the two poodles, again, that were fighting each other, they used to always have to be muzzled. And then we started to take the muzzle off the oldest one. And li literally yesterday, I, I, we had no muzzle, and we were training. We had them in the middle of the uh, neighborhood. I mean, I'm sorry. We had them in the middle of their living room. We were walking the neighborhood, all with no muzzle. And again, second day out, and again, no muzzle, no growling, unneutered males, guys who didn't like each other. Now they like each other. Um, so yeah, that was a big thing for me. No muzzle. <laughs> Trusted these guys to be good boys and follow their training. So yeah, you guys take care.